Uh, traditionally, there would be a, a MRI or a CT scan of the patient's spine um, that was referred to at the day of surgery. Uh, we would use uh, fluoroscopy, which is uh, x-ray beams, uh, to guide us uh, where to go. But those were just one or two dimensional um, images. With the O-arm, the patient comes into the operating room. Uh, a, uh, the O-arm acquires a three-dimensional image of their spine. I can pinpoint where a disc herniation is or uh, where a nerve root might be that's entrapped. Uh, so it can guide us in real time precisely to where uh, we're going, whereas with, without the O-arm, we're using our, our really our best educated guess based on st standard anatomy. With the O-arm, I, I have great confidence. I can see it as I'm, putting the, um, as I'm putting the instrumentation in exactly where it's going. So th again, the, the level of confidence that the O-arm affords me as a surgeon uh, really makes it seem uh, so much better.